Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody. On this beautiful day of October 10th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning, everybody. All right. Good to see you, Cyber Traders. All right, Ken, Craig, Harry, everybody. All right, guys. So anyway, first of all, a lot of good things that are going on. First of all, we're one week away from uh, the on-site, the Trader Summit that's coming next week. So hopefully all you guys had booked. Um, I want to kind of just talk a little bit about that before we start going into a couple of stocks that are moving, like the NIO and watching the NBEV. But just a little heads up for all of you guys that are coming next week. Hopefully you put your um, you spoke to your education advisor here at Cyber University, uh, got your hotels taken care of, and most importantly, remember we have the soiree that is going to be starting on Wednesday at five o'clock um so we'll have a couple of drinks we'll be able everyone get to meet each other um you'll be able to set up your computers um in the in the trading room at the hotel uh, we will have staff there to help you just to make sure so try to get there early get everything uh, all set up so when you come in at eight o'clock in the morning 8 30 we start trading in the morning we're all ready to rock and roll so it's not like any delays all right guys so just want to be really careful you guys get that all done and then uh, in the meantime, I want to talk a little bit about this uh, NEO that's going on right now, the NIO. Now, last night um, I did a speaking, and uh, I, I did a speaking at one of these uh, traders' meetings, and, uh, and Ron came there, and Ron was uh, saying, hey, Fausto, uh, did you see the NIO yesterday? And uh, you could see the NIO just took off on him, and he took a shot on it. You know, and we've been trading NEO at, uh, on the IPO. By the way, if you don't, some of you that are new here don't know about the stock, this is that stock we traded as an IPO. Same business. Uh, it's a Chinese Tesla stock. So they're basically trying to copy Tesla. Anyway, got into the trade. News came out that one of the partners bought like 11% of the stock. Thing took off. You could see we're from six all the way to eight. Finally, it took off. I was, I was like, what the hell is going on with this thing? Thing wasn't moving yet. But Ben, you got into it right now? Good, good. A couple of you already jumped into it. But, uh, yeah, we made a lot of money on it. Good thing we sold it. It backed off. But you know what? Now it looks like she's back in play. So I, I, I was watching it early this morning. I was just a little kind of turned off about it. It wasn't really picking its direction. It was, like, stuck between this 820 price. It was dropping down to 855, 820, 805. But she's got resistance levels right here. Unbelievable iceberg orders. Now, guys, you remember trading the stock. Go back to your journals. Check it out. Be very, very careful on it because this stock – um, can move. We all know that. Before I go through some other stocks, I just want to bring up some other ones. PBR, that was one of the morning watch list stocks from yesterday. I told you it's not a big, big, fast mover, but she does move a little bit more of a swing trade. That one did pretty good. And then the uh, TRVN trade, just want to talk about that. It was, uh, it was not hard to borrow somehow. I don't know why for some of us traders out there. Some of us got it. But, uh, but it was a pretty good short on that trade right right in the pre-market. And then the AMRN, good short from 820. Nice little Fausto flag right there, a nice FF flag. So we did pretty well on that one. A very fun stock to trade, and that's what we did yesterday. But anyway, if it's uh, still on your short, it, it probably could still be a short going into because this is that one that took off pretty big. But anyway, we got, a bu we got a bunch of new stocks to trade. So remember, whatever's in the archives, we put on the side. Let's focus on the new one. So anyway, we got the NIO back in play. Beautiful looking chart right there. Fun little stock. Made some good money on it. We're going to play around with that one. NVLN. There's another one that uh, took a huge hit from four down to a buck 20. She's gapping up a little bit, up 45%. Not a lot of shares, 149,000 shares, but she's definitely got a lot of nice iceberg orders out there on the matrix. We'll keep an eye on that one. DLRX, another one's coming back. Everyone's very familiar with this one. We trade this back in April. Stock went from like a dollar to four dollars. I don't know. I want to put it on the watch list up ten percent today. Kind of just showed up on my watch list. Not the greatest pre-market, but I'll keep an eye on that. I want to, I want to keep an uh, put that on my list and see what happens because we traded it. A A K R K. This stock took a huge hit. This stock was a thirty dollars stock. Gap down big time. Looks like it's filling in the gap a little bit right there. Which is what, which is very important when a stock uh, is filling on the gap. So she's up, not huge. She's up about six percent. Spread looks pretty decent. I like that she had some nice orders out there, and uh, gonna make our watch list too. Another one, FPay, FPay. 
This stock, I mean, it's it's up about 5%. It's not up a lot, but this is another one. I'm, I'm, I'm finding a lot of these stocks are taking very big hits. So when I see something like that on the long-term chart, you see this thing go from four down here. It's starting to gap up a little bit. Maybe there's a little bottom fish going on. Once again, look at those iceberg orders, 20,000, 6,000. Beautiful, beautiful orders out there. Definitely a level one stock for a lot of you to be here. IGC, we all know IGC. Look at that baby. Remember that? Two all the way to 14. Great day trade. Unbelievable swing trade. IGC, you know, just there she goes. She's moving again. We actually were talking about that yesterday in my meeting on, at that uh, financial uh, meeting that I did yesterday. Me and Ron were talking about that. She's moving pretty nice. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I know Paul, Paul's just saying it right now. It's moving. Yeah, it's moving. So, but remember, remember what we taught you in class. You got to keep good journals because remember, a lot of these stocks, you know, we've traded it and you thought that they were good movers, but they probably were not good for you. Some of them a little risky. Don't let these little stocks, you know, influence you and like, oh, it's cheap. How bad could it be? And listen, these things get pretty damn volatile. All right. And then I want to throw, and then obviously the NBEV, which we traded so many times. Oh, typed in the wrong window. Um, we did really well with, uh, new, new age beverage and, uh, she's gapping up a little bit up 10%, a million, two shares. You can see she has got some great orders out there. Took a little bit of a correction yesterday, but she's gapping up a little bit this morning. Want to keep that on the watch list. So there are a lot of good stocks out there to trade to, to this morning. Now, remember, not all of them going to move. We'll find new ones like we do every day, every day when the market opens up. But listen, we started early this morning. Nine third. Um, if you hear eight o'clock, everyone should did pretty well uh, on some of these winners. You know specifically this one right here, the NV, uh, the NV, the N. I did pretty well on it. Let me just do the one minute chart. If you hear eight o'clock this morning, everybody should have got in around three sixteen. You know, I didn't. You know, you shouldn't have got out at four four eighty, but you should have got out somewhere around four twenty at least. But anyway, that was really the good pre-market one that you guys missed this morning if you didn't get here early enough. But listen, here's a stock that went from 70 all the way down here. I want to keep a close eye on it. Looks like she's going to be testing support levels right around 380. You can see the orders already sitting there. Big block orders are already there. All right, guys, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Benito says uh, NIO is worth watching. Got a WW on that 835. Yep, look at that. And you know what? Looks like it's got a little nice Fausto flag starting to build up right there, right? We're gonna keep it close. And it's just and, and this one's looking pretty damn strong going into the going into the open. Ron uh, is just saying Fausto, a nice presentation last night. Yeah, Ron, you know what? Listen, there was a lot of people out there, and it's always nice uh, you know, to get the opportunity. You know, when you're doing a webinar, sometimes you don't get to see these people's faces. You know, face to face, but yeah, you know, having the opportunity, Ron, to see you yesterday, and and you know, obviously that's where you found me when you when you you know, going back over these years, and to see the people out there, and thanks for supporting us. But um, you know, ho hopefully a lot of those people will come and show up on our Wednesday soiree, and you know, obviously we're going to screen them out because you know, obviously it's not for everybody, but uh, but you could see how uh, how you know how people are just getting destroyed, you know, and they're not just not getting it. You know, and that's what it's all about. Where it wasn't a webinar, Neil. It was actually an on-site event that I did for a financial uh, a financial company. It was probably I don't know about maybe it wasn't that many people. I think it was between thirty and fifty people in there. You know, I like the question you trade station webinar about the TLT. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. that was pretty funny too. All right, everybody. Uh, people don't understand the markets, Kevin. Well, you know. That's why I love what I do, but I'm also, I'm not shy about it, but I tell everyone I'm not here to work for free. And the only way I make my money is you guys making money because we trade together. But I'd rather than know the truth and eventually, hopefully it'll sink into them. It's just that sometimes these people, you heard some of the, you heard some of the things last night. These people blow up their accounts, you know, they're still in the game, but you know, eventually I said, you think education's expensive? Try ignorance, and they they sure had a lot of ignorance. So hopefully they'll they'll learn from it. And uh, you know, and everyone that's listening, you know, some of you right now is going to be posted on the YouTube and, and and our Facebook page and stuff. You got you got to learn before you can earn. You know, it's a great job, great job in the world. But and you know, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. It pays a lot of money, but you got to surround yourself. It's not about just learning 
from a good mentor. You got to surround yourself with good traders too. So with that said, guys, listen, good luck, everyone. I'll see you later on uh, at the 2.30 meeting. Let's get the markets going to be opening up in about a little bit. And, uh, and for everyone that's coming for the on-site, please don't forget. Make sure you take care of your reservations, your airfare, you get in safe. Don't forget about the soiree on, on Wednesday. And uh, hopefully you should be starting a diet on uh, probably by Saturday because you'll, you'll probably gain about 5, 10 pounds before you leave. I'm a big <laughs> – so not only we going to have fun trading, we're going to have fun eating. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.